Have you ever wondered what really flows through the waters of the Mississippi River? Behind its breathtaking views lies a hidden truth, one of the most polluted rivers in the United States. But how did America's most iconic river turn into an environmental crisis? Let's uncover the truth. The Mississippi River isn't just any river, it's the lifeline of America. Stretching over 2,300 miles, it provides drinking water for more than 20 million people. It irrigates farmlands, fuels industries, and carries goods worth billions of dollars. With such massive importance comes an equally massive problem. From farms to cities, contaminants find their way into the river. Over the next few minutes, we'll trace where the pollution comes from and what it means downstream, and whether there's still hope to save it. Farms, factories, and cities. Three sources feeding a dangerous mix into the Mississippi. Part two, the hidden pollution sources. So what's poisoning the Mississippi? First, agricultural runoff. Fertilizers and pesticides wash from farmlands directly into the river, fueling toxic algae blooms. Second, industrial waste. Factories along the river release chemicals and heavy metals. Third, sewage and urban runoff. Cities dump untreated waste and stormwater, adding plastics, oils, and dangerous bacteria. The result? A cocktail of pollution flowing downstream. Next, where all this ends up, the Gulf of Mexico. Every year, the river carries millions of tons of nutrients into the Gulf of Mexico. These nutrients feed algae at scale. That creates a massive dead zone, an area so deprived of oxygen that marine life cannot survive. Fish and marine organisms are pushed out or perish. In 2021, this dead zone stretched over 6,300 square miles, bigger than the entire state of Connecticut. That scale has real economic and ecological cost. The Mississippi's pollution doesn't stop at its banks. Every ecosystem from river to gulf is affected. Nutrient spikes follow planting and heavy rainfall, washing more fertilizer downstream. Scientists track nitrates, phosphates, and oxygen levels to understand the scale. This isn't just an environmental issue, it's human too. Part four, the human and environmental impact. Communities along the river face higher risks of cancer, respiratory diseases, and contaminated drinking water. Contaminated drinking water is a daily reality for some. Fishermen lose livelihoods as fish populations collapse. Ecosystems that took thousands of years to form are collapsing in mere decades. The cost is ecological, cultural, and economic, and it's accelerating. But the good news? Change is possible. Farmers are adopting eco-friendly practices, buffer strips, cover crops, and precision fertilizer use to reduce runoff. These methods reduce the nutrient load entering the river. States are investing in upgraded wastewater treatment and stormwater management. Environmental groups are raising awareness and pushing for stricter laws. There are local winds, restored habitats, and improving water quality in pilot basins. But the biggest question remains, will we act fast enough? The Mississippi River is more than water. It's history, culture, and life itself. The truth behind its pollution is alarming, but knowing the problem is the first step to fixing it. What do you think? Can America save its great river? Share your thoughts in the comments, like, and subscribe for more environmental stories.